look. So hello guys, uh, what's up? This is uh, another one. Ngayon po, uh, ayusin natin itong Suzuki Swift Gen 1 sa EZ21S So, throw pa namin yung South Swift Tires Papalita ko po siya ng front brake pads Kaya eh, Papakita ko po kung paano magpatit ng front brake pads Ayan, ganda ng ano mags, oh. 17s. Okay. Ito ko yung brake pad. Uh, high Q, yung brand. So, ayan po. Brake pad na ang Suzuki Swift. Ayan po. Suzuki Swift. Front brake pads only. Next time na po yung rear drum so wala ko po dito yung rear drum brake ayan, yan po yung itura nyo yun yung gano kamiti ayan may kasama na po siya nga na itong anti-squeal tapos ito po yung warning ayan yung warning kapag manipis na yung brake pad sobrang ingay po nyan Ayan, so Habit natin po doon Para magkaroon siya ng bagong brake Okay Stay tuned Ito po yung gagamitin tools Jack stand Jack Ito ang mga basic tools Open threads, float threads Box threads Naka ratchet Kung meron kayo nito Impact Impact nice. threads, impact gun uh, Mas maganda Ayan, umpisa na natin ito Okay, after you remove the rim or mags or wheels Check for the brake pad Oh, look So, so thin It's replacing Then you need to remove this And this So you could So you could get to the brake pads Alright, let's get it on. If you look here, if you look here, it would be counterclockwise to loosen the bolt. If, if it is clockwise, then it would tighten the bolt. So let's do it counterclockwise. Okay? Close enough. It's time to remove it. Oh my god, look at this, so beautiful. Alright, next. I'm gonna hang this here. It's alright. Next up, 
my pants. Oh, it's so stuck. Okay. That's it. Yeah, one down. I want to go. Remove this one. Oh, and that, there you go. It's been removed. Okay. Now. Okay. Now I'm gonna clean this. I'm gonna clean this too. So the brake pads would sit better on this. Okay. Ten seconds later. Okay, after you clean this, put it aside. Put it aside and then we're gonna press this. We're gonna press this brake caliper using C clamp. Using that C clamp. Position our C clamp like this, then tighten the C clamp. It should press this piston. It should press this caliper piston. Okay? It should look like this. West. Nice. Look at this thick boys. Look how thick it is. Compared to this. Ooh, skinny. Skinny pads. So worn. I should be like this. Okay. This is the measurement if your brake pad is it's worn out. This is the meter. Okay, let's install this. Alright, so now that's tightened. Look at how meaty that is. Ooh, meaty boy. Okay. It's just the reverse process. Tighten this up. And this. It's all done. Next, put the rim on the car. Okay. Now we are done on this side. Let's do the same on the other side. Let's go. For 
say, uh oh. No. It leaked. I will. I will clean that with water later. Okay, let's test the brake. Let's test it. I'm gonna test the brake. Okay. Oh, I forgot the key. Here's the key. Alright. Testing, testing. Pump the brakes. One, two, three. On to the side. It's hard to press. Start the car. Press the brake again. One, two, three. What? And that's how you change a brake pad in Suzuki Swift 2005 Gen 1 CZ21S. Okay, Genesis Black signing out. Peace.